Hi, it's Chester at Blue PKN Computer Training. And in this video, I want to look at applying different grouping options across multiple pivot tables. So I'll create a pivot table from this data. And first of all, I want to look in particular at grouping dates. So I'll add dates to this pivot table. You can see that it automatically gives me years, quarters, and date. Now, date is really months in this context. So I'll rename that, and then let's put revenue in there. And then what I'm going to do is copy this over here. So I've duplicated it. With this pivot table, I want to show quarters. So I don't need months. I'm going to drag months out, and then I'm going to expand the entire field to show quarters. With this one, I want to show weeks. So what I'll do is I'll right click on one of these dates, go to group, deselect months, quarters, and years, go to days, number of days seven, click on OK. And both pivot tables end up with the same grouping. So why does this happen and how do we avoid it? OK, well, I'll get rid of both pivot tables. Now, this problem occurs because both those pivot tables share the same cache. The cache is the memory version of your data that your pivot table is based on. So we essentially have to create two caches if we want different grouping in different pivot tables. However, it's not quite as clear cut as that. Let's create another pivot table. And I'm going to add date and revenue. And I'll copy this again. So these two pivot tables are sharing the same pivot cache. And what I want to do is I want to show quarters in this one on the left and months in this one. Now, this is possible. What I'm going to do is go to the first pivot table and I don't want to show months. Now, months is actually this field here. I rename it as months but I actually don't want it in that pivot table. So then what I'll do is expand and that just shows quarters. Now this pivot table, I do want to show months, but not quarters. So I'm going to drag quarters out and expand. And I have months in this one and quarters in this one. So if the difference between the grouping can be achieved by dragging these fields out that are created when you add a date field to your pivot table, then there isn't a problem in terms of having different grouping options in different pivot tables. The problem occurs when you right click group and change your option here. So for example, if I'd had gone into here, and got rid of months here, click on OK, then this one also is unable to show grouping in terms of months. So that's the thing to avoid. Not to right click and go to group and deselect these options, but to just drag the field out of the rows area. However, this still doesn't help us if we want to group by weeks, because weeks doesn't appear down here as an option. So what I'm going to do is delete this. In this scenario, we need to create a pivot table based on a separate pivot cache. So how do we do that? Well, there are various ways we can do it. There is a shortcut key for it, which is Alt DP, and that opens up a legacy pivot table and pivot chart wizard, Alt DP. Now, another way to open that up is to have a button either on your quick access toolbar or on your ribbon, and if you think that you're going to come across this issue often, I think this is probably the way to go to have a button somewhere on your interface. Now to get it on the quick access toolbar, you go to your customize button up there, more commands, change popular commands to commands not in the ribbon, scroll down and you will eventually see the pivot table and pivot chart wizard. Select it and add it. Click on OK. That brings up the same dialog box as our shortcut key. Or your other option is to add it to the ribbon. So you might put it with the other pivot table button. So 
if I right click on insert, customize the ribbon, I'm going to add a new group. I'm going to call this pivot tables. And I'll say legacy, legacy buttons. And then what I'll do is I'll look for that button again. And I'll add it to that group. And then I'll move that group within the insert tab above the tables group. You can now see I have a pivot table and pivot chart wizard button there. So with this wizard active, it asks you where is the data you want to analyze, whether it's a Microsoft Excel list or database, and what kind of report do you want to create a pivot table? We'll say next, so it says, where is the data for your table? Now I'd already clicked into the data, so it's automatically selected it. That's worth doing, clicking into the data before you use this button. Next. Your new report will use less memory if you base it on your existing report, which was created from the same data source. So that would be this one. Do you want your new report to be based on the same data as your existing report? No, we don't. So I'm going to put it on this sheet. Hit finish. I'm going to add date and revenue. I'm going to group based on days. On weeks rather. And there we are. It's not affected this one at all because it's based on a different pivot cache. Now another method, I'm not sure I'd use it, but another method would be to copy your pivot table, create a new workbook, control N, paste it in, and apply your grouping here. And then copy it back. And that leaves the original unaffected. Now it's not only dates that are affected by this grouping behavior. Let's create another pivot table. Now I'm going to group this time by product. So for example, I might want to group all the basics products together. basics and I could go on doing that for all of the different branded products. Now if I copy this it's obviously going to include the same grouping. If I wanted to ungroup for whatever reason it would end up ungrouping the other pivot table. Let's delete this version The idea again would be to click into your data, insert pivot table, pivot chart wizard, next, next, no, existing worksheet, or wherever you want to put it, finish, and then if I add product, you can see that this is not affected by the grouping that is part of this pivot table's pivot cache. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.